what's left of this Austrian cavalry after taking the artillery fire is just mopping up Mike's lights. And this is where things are getting interesting for Mike. Um, here is the melee rush coming in. And once again, the best tool against it is cavalry. That actually was not an effective charge at all because um, there was a square right there. But Mike's men are, are holding for the moment. I'm bringing over my cavalry to help with this. And he tried to hold this building. Actually, no, no not really. These are Jaegers, so they were just in the building. Uh, so they're not going to even stand a chance there. So Mike's just trying to salvage his army because, once again, this melee rush is just going to overrun it. You can see most of it's actually over here now. And uh, I've got my cavalry there, and we're going to go ahead and do a downhill charge into these swords while these men are firing. So here comes my cav. And we're going to get a decent charge off right into these... Uh, sword units here so that's that's going to do some damage for a moment allow Mike to fire a little bit longer but over here my melee charge units went in there they are they're just tying up these men uh, they were light infantry they're not even effective in melee anyway but it allowed me to move up my line which you can see here is now pressing pressing sorry Austria and over here I don't know what this unit of foot guards was doing yeah I re I don't even know what they're doing I don't even recall that actually happening in the battle yeah those guys are not being smart but oh yeah there we go I noticed something was up there but there's a National Guard unit there two National Guard units so they're not all that effective here I withdrew my lines a little bit because Austria is uh, going with a melee charge tactic. And uh, it's actually kind of hurting me because there's not... I don't really have enough troops left to uh, significantly put up a fight of it in melee. And my men are tired. They've fought this whole battle already. I mean, you can just see all the carnage on this side of the field. All the way up to about here is where my troops have been fighting. Um, but this is going to allow these units here. They're going to turn and fight this National Guard. And this Foot Guard unit is going to fire into the flank of this whole mess here. So we're, we're being able to shoot them down. Having Mike's troops in the back is going to help a little bit too. And over here these Musketeers are going to uh, just fight it out with those guys as best as they can. Because I actually, I have to keep these reserves somewhat facing that way. But we're going to go ahead and withdraw them behind Mike's line now. Because um, Mike's army, aside from that scrap up there, which is now pretty much over, is uh, the most intact and has its ammo still. My, my men do not. But down here on this flank, my general's running back and forth. My uh, artillery is still actually being fairly effective. Although these, these rockets are just annoying. But here, this is a fresh old guard unit. Um, you know, it's only one unit, but once again, old guard are very dangerous. So we are attempting to uh, just stack the cards in our favor here with three units, two of which are foot guards. One of them, you know, the Denmark lifeguards afoot. And we're going to move up, and uh, Mike's going to move in on the flank, and we're going to attempt to take out this old guard. Here goes the firing with that. I was moving up this unit of foot guards as well. Uh, once again, this is a little bit farther out than our lines, but it is just to fire on the Austrian flank there. And right now, my army is is fairly depleted. I've got I've got these two pretty much full units here. One's a foot guard, one's a musketeer, but the rest of my army is over here, and we've still got pretty much the full Ottoman army left. Um, so Mike's still got a decent amount of his army too, no lights though. So it's at this point just can, can we do enough damage quickly enough to, and you know, outmaneuver them in a way that we can actually win this battle. 
you can see the flank of this old guard unit just getting absolutely shredded especially now that these light guards are going to um, open fire or I guess they already did they're gonna move on and take out these rockets finally once again these guys weren't overly effective they're just annoying and they are demoralizing and uh, they are getting some kills so it'd be nice to have them gone there they go I did a uh, charge with the foot guards there to route the last unit of that and now my men are going to fall back these guys are gonna make a retreat here because um, the, the it's just this this you know section of troops although not that big and I could have went forward and probably effectively fought it uh, it would be risky to do so unsupported so my men are going to withdraw and for the first time the battlefield is uh, quiet of gunfire aside from the artillery that's the British artillery firing last British unit on the field in the weirdest deployed position on the face of the planet just shooting this hill right in front of them so right now you guys can just get a look at the carnage of this field I'll try to get an overhead shot from way down here to that cavalry all of this in here uh, this is where the French died this is where the Austrians died and of course my men as well and this is just where the the AI British uh, well they did they did what they could we're gonna fall back now to this more compact position uh, to hopefully hold as best as we can at this point it's pretty much giving up my artillery because um, they're not able to fire and for some reason oh that's why the uh, horses were taken out so I couldn't limber up these two guns but I've still got an almost full amount of troops here so you see I've got the extra guys why they'd want to stand right in front of the firing artillery doesn't make much sense to me but that's what they're gonna do and of course I'm gonna try and fire into some of these commits because in all honesty we can and uh, as you will see we do successfully take out almost all the gunfire units these melee rush units are what's the threat because we just don't have enough guys to deal with both ends so right now this full army here is uh, the size of our force if not a little bit bigger and you can see I've still actually got a decent force after fighting off two armies um, this Austrian players got a little bit as well these guys are mostly depleted except for these two units but these are all units that will only take one or two volleys to rout and that cavalry is still there down here Mike's guys on the flank so Mike's gonna take the front uh, because I've been fighting this entire battle so it's just giving my units some time to rest and uh, there's just a not a lot they can do anyways here this guy is going to charge his general into my artillery although it's not all that effective and I believe right here we're gonna randomly get off the weirdest angle artillery shot which is going to kill a decent amount of that guy's general so he's not gonna think about doing that again so somehow my artillery still survived and uh, I'm just gonna leave them in canister here and hope to fire at some of these men charging them. So right now the battlefield is actually quiet for a moment. I'm moving my forces down here onto this left to uh, fight Austria. And Mike's got this second line of lifeguards here to fire when that melee rush comes. So we're, we'll speed it up for a moment. You can see everything going on here. Here, I actually got Skype called, which is funny. And uh, it took me out of the battle. And so my men are completely without being moved right now. And uh, that's going to result in the loss of one of my foot guard units almost immediately there in that charge. Which uh, actually does seriously hurt us because they could have easily fended off against those cavalry 
So I'm going to have to turn these guys at a weird angle when that exposes their flank and all that stuff. Once I got back in, I did not know what was going on. Uh, but we're going to get off a shot and do a little bit of damage to this cavalry. But at this point, uh, that that there really, really hurt us. That entire unit of foot guards there just got absolutely destroyed in a matter of seconds. And that was a, a decently full unit. So... Um, that, you know, that fire down here on this flank would have seriously helped, but here comes the fight in the middle, Mike's men firing, these Ottomans firing, these guys were out of ammunition, so they're charging forward, not a whole lot that they can do, uh, just stop some of the firing for a second, so this is, this is the last stand, we're actually gonna take out some of that cavalry going to keep falling back. I've got this full unit of foot guards here. These are my only unit that really hasn't seen combat. And uh, they're going to put up a fight of it. They're firing over the heads of the Denmark troops there. And you can see the battle, the smoke, my men firing in the back up there. So this, this is the final stand, and you can see on the minimap how compact this battle has become, but you can also see where the red dots, you can see just how many more of the blue dots there are, see how much uh, more spread out our, our units are. They've just really got a good force there, and here comes my artillery unit, although they're just going to rout. But for some reason it stopped letting me fire their guns. So that is going to be it for them. They're not going to uh, participate in this battle anymore. Um, they did an excellent job. Uh, that, that was the most effective my artillery's ever been in a game of Napoleon. But here I'm moving these foot guards because in a second here this uh, melee rush is going to unleash. But we were seeing, we're like, he's not even really going to need the melee rush. And you can see we're, we've still got this second line over here. We've still got these guys firing over here. Uh, these Austrians are very depleted from when I fought them. The only thing, once again, this cavalry is still in the back. And uh, this guy's still got, we didn't notice this. And I guess he didn't either, a full unit of infantry back there. And uh, you'll see why I am bringing that up. But over here, these men now all firing into the fray. I'm pretty sure Ot the Ottoman troops were out of ammunition uh, because of the fact that they were charging like this. He could have just been doing it, but once again, although he did just slaughter the British, he did fight them. So, you know, you're using ammunition on that. And these men are getting shot down in their charge. But here comes the melee rush. And what we actually do here, once again, cavalry charge is just effective against it. And uh, we're going to stall with our generals. And Mike's general is actually going to go down because he didn't pull his general out. I do. I pull my general out. And uh, that's going to hold off the melee rush for a moment there. And you see their morale just drops. Like, you, the cavalry really, for some reason, affects those units. And over here, we're just trying to hold this flank. Here comes another line crashing into Mike's lifeguards. And there goes Mike's general. We already killed uh, one enemy general. And this this Ottoman, uh, not Ottoman, Austrian cavalry in the back. I actually did not see these guys come in. Had I squared, um, I, I totally did not see this. So that was good charge on his part. But had I actually squared, these foot guards are going to win just fine anyways. Had I squared, though, that would have been done so much quicker, and I could have kept firing in the front. And over here, I cav charged with my general into this unit to uh, help Denmark route those, the Denmark troops. And once again, th at this point, this battle is just, we're out of ammo. Everyone's out of ammo. And so we've got a little bit of troops still firing on the flank here. These guys, what I'm going to do with them is wrap them around this way and melee charge into the back of this unit. So we're going to actually be able to take out two units just because these lifeguards are able to hold and I'm able to surround these guys. So the Ottoman morale is really low here. And right here, Mike's holding this melee rush. I've got my general in there. Uh, my general is going to go ahead and go down, though he's actually being fairly effective. 
Mike's troops. There goes the, uh, the Ottoman general charging in. He, he killed a ton of his own troops in that charge, too. My foot guards are firing into this. We're just hoping that we can uh, take this out. You see we've got, you know, an arc of fire on it. There's just too many men. So I'm going... My men are being all whacked out right here. I don't know why they're doing this or what they're doing, but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pull out of that. And over here I've got this musketeer unit firing onto the flank of this Hungarian Fuselier unit. Once again, you can just see the carnage all over this entire field as the final the final stand happens over here. So this side of the field really saw a lot of fighting. You can see we're lining up back here. And the foot guards are going to be firing. We're doing our best. Um, there's There's not a lot we can do against it. But right now, and for some reason this unit starts whacking out, it's because I had them clicked in an attack order, so I don't know what they're doing. They should have kept firing there. But uh, this is actually kind of surprising here. My foot guards are going to go ahead and uh, manage to hold for a second against these guys. And these guys, surprisingly, are going to come back. Uh, they're going to volley in, and this Hungarian unit here is going to actually rout, I do believe. I believe my men won this fight. Maybe not, my morale's dropping. I was pretty sure we got Austria almost completely off the field, though. But over here, this was really interesting. My foot guards uh, are going to be awesome, and so is this lifeguard of foot unit, although there they go. And we're just going to hold... There's no point in falling back now against this. And at this point, this is as close as we get to uh, winning this battle. You can see there's more enemy troops. There's just not a lot we can do. Um, Mike here opens fire and kills the Ottoman general. There goes my musketeer unit, but my foot guards are still here. And we were thinking if we can rout these guys, we could win just due to the morale factor. So, my foot guards are holding, Mike's going to open fire into the back of this mess, and these guys' morale is just going to drop, but sadly, right then, my men finally do give way, and uh, you can see how close those guys came to routing. Had they held a second or two more, we could have routed that, but all in all, good game to our opponents. Um, the fact that we ended up only losing by that little bit, that little bit of melee rush there at the end. I'd say we did a pretty good job for a two versus three, um, but there you can see you know, our AI ally actually doing a little bit of damage, but overall being completely worthless. Um, and we, as a whole, you can see, yeah, 420 there, the Ottoman player deploying a ton of troops, almost 3,000 troops on that field. Um, I myself had 2,100, but our opponents outnumbered us by a lot. Uh, both France and the Ottoman guy out and had bigger armies than we did and uh, this Austrian army is only slightly smaller than the British AI so somehow we managed to uh, almost pull off a win there very good game to our opponents I'm gonna kill 2620 Mike 1843 and uh, already talked about the AI there you can see all their stats my best units here Look at that, foot guards 468 killed, 160 of 160 lost, those guys fought till the end. My howitzers 325 killed, they actually did a, uh, like I said, a very good job this battle. My other foot guards, my Prussian Fuselier, ton of my units getting over 100 kills. Only, it looks like 5, yeah, 5 units not getting over 100 kills, and that's my cavalry, 2 infantry units, and my general who was not all that effective. But, once again, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed that crazy battle, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time with more.